Hi, this is Kelly Russell Agadon, and I'm so thankful to be here with you this week on Poems That Changed Me. Dean Rader's wonderful, informative, and inspiring series on the poems that have changed us in our lives. I've been trying to figure out which poem to choose. There's been so many poems in my life that have, have changed me and made a difference. Um, but the poem I chose is the one that I thought would change you and kind of what I'm hoping for more in the world. It's by a poet named Danusha Lamaris. And I learned a little about this poem. I first learned about it in the New York Times. It was chosen by Naomi Shihab Nye, and I immediately went out and bought uh, Danusha's book, Bonfire Opera. Um, but I learned the backstory behind this poem, which is pretty interesting. It was after the 2016 elections, and in January, um, January 29th, 2017, to be exactly. And I learned that Danusha had an unpleasant experience, um, but instead of writing a rant poem, before she went to bed on Facebook, she put the poem, which I'll read for you in a moment, with this note, well, people, a little pre-bedtime poem from me to you, rest well, be safe and prosper. And she posted this poem, which I'm gonna read. And the poem is so full of compassion, so full of love and acknowledging each other's humanness, finding the good that I thought, what a generous act, what a gift she gave us. Um, by being treated poorly, but instead of responding with hate, she found that space and that place for compassion. The poem is called Small Kindnesses by Danusha Lamaris. I've been thinking about the way when you walk down a crowded aisle, people pull in their legs to let you by. Or how strangers still say bless you when someone sneezes, a leftover from the bubonic plague. Don't die, we are saying. And sometimes when you spill lemons from your grocery bag, someone else will help you pick them up. Mostly, we don't want to harm each other. We want to be handed our cup of coffee hot and to say thank you to the person handing it, to smile at them and for them to smile back, for the waitress to call us honey when she sets down the bowl of clam chowder and for the driver in the red pickup truck to let us pass. We have so little of each other now, so far from tribe and fire, only these brief moments of exchange. What if they are the true dwelling of the holy, these fleeting temples we make together when we say, here, have my seat. Go ahead, you first. I like your hat. What I love about that poem is how when we are out in the world, we have a choice to be kind, to hold the door open, to help someone out and I thought Danusha really captured, captured us as humans at our best. And I think that's what changed me. Um, and hopefully this poem 
will change you. And as a poet, uh, it, it was a reminder to me of how our words can make a difference. This poem that she shared on Facebook went viral um, and you can understand why listening to it. But to know that our words can go into the lives of others and make a difference. And Danusha's poem made a big difference in mine. This is a poem I go to when I need to be reminded of the good, uh, to remind myself to be better. And that poetry matters. It matters in small ways. And the kindness we do in the world matters in small ways. So thank you for listening to my response to Danusha's poem. And I'm just thankful Danusha wrote it. Thank you. The small kindnesses. <laughs>